All right, hello. Welcome back. Hi. More, hi, hi. More MTS with the bun bun. The best bun bun. We got it. Oh, okay, no, you... Where did we get? Gosh, where did we last uh, leave off? I forgot. Uh, so we are about to head to the communications tower. Oh yeah, because we were abused with the freaking electricity thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, I remember now. Yeah, honey, I remember. Yeah. And, uh, Snake basically got a flashback, which I don't remember if you saw, because I think you were sweeping around then. No, I, I didn't pass out. No? I think you were listening no. at least. Because that's, that, that's what Honey does best. He's a very good listener. I didn't pass out. What do you mean? Mm, well, I know Honey was uh, focusing at least. Something like that. What was the folk, the, the flashback though? Uh, basically, Snake was getting a flashback of Meryl getting shot, and how she's like a hostage now, so he's... Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, so now he's, in addition to stopping Metal Gear, he's also gonna try and save Meryl as well. Yeah, yeah, okay, now I remember. See, I yeah, definitely love... saw that. So why yeah, are you saying good. I, has, I has good slept? Good. Dumbass. Well, it was at the very end, so I was just wondering if you remember still, but good, you do. Anyways. No, you reminded me. I don't remember stuff, you know. Okay. I want, um... This is probably the best place in the game to use stun grades, so we're gonna get those ready. And, um... Let me get my key card. So, I don't think you can actually see it. But there are trip wires here. No, I can't see, because... <laughs> You literally shaking the freaking camera. Oh my god. Oh, sorry, honey. <laughs> um. This is a uh, staircase climb. A very big one. <laughs> and an um, eyesore. Oh, yeah, ice rain warning, too. <laughs> <laughs> I could have picked up that ration, but I don't think I'll need it. This is where a lot of people end up using their rations. <laughs> Just because it's kind of hard to do this without getting hit, because it's like so narrow. Mm. Yeah, the points. Yeah, there's like specific places people use the rations and stun grenades. I don't remember them, but I usually just throw a shit ton of them down, love, <laughs> and it usually ends up working. get to hear the encounter theme for a while. Oh yeah, that guy got knocked out, at least. Yeah. Okay, we made it. So that's... <laughs> oh yeah, don't worry about that guy. I will s worry about that guy. <laughs> Wait, they won't cl climb back to you? No. <laughs> They're not that smart. Why not? <laughs> they don't know how to climb ladders, apparently. They literally were under you. you it's, it's pretty funny how they just, don't, they just forget about you once you go up the ladder.
All right, and so we're on top of the communications tower now. We can't tell. Yep. Ow, my eyes! What was that? A bunch of missiles, love. Don't say dumbass, but what was that? And what is this trembling camera action? A volcano hit more like. <laughs> Volcano at camera. Volcano at camera, honey. Yeah, like the <laughs> sunburn, sunburn filter. Now it's the volcano at camera. <laughs> Come on. Volcano filter. Yes, exactly. Volcano filter. I'm afraid I can't let you get past here. Liquid. Stop you with the volcano effect. <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness, how many more? Lots, Why more, is it uh, lots more volcano effects, hon. I hear it. It's a long way down. If only I had a rope. I should be able to use that rope I got. What are you going to do? Take on a hind with your bare hands? Now you're Wait, what? mine! He said, I, I wish I had that rope, finished. and then he said... He's like, I had a rope? Uh, I, I, I could use that rope I have. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> well, it is possible to climb up here without the rope, and then you have to go all the way back down, which really sucks. Wait, what? Yeah, you gotta. You want to make sure you pick up the rope. Where was you, the rope? It is at the very bottom of the staircase, and it's very easy to miss. Jump while pressing right or left on the directional button, you can make a big jump in that direction. If you press and hold the circle button while using the directional button, you can walk slowly across the wall. If you're careful with the timing, you should be able to dodge the gunfire from the hind while you rappel down. If anyone can do it, you can, Snake. Thanks, Colonel. <laughs> That's too complicated for me, so. That takes a lot of life. Yeah, sure does. The thing I find really funny about this fight... Oh, well, I don't know if I call it a fight. <laughs> oh no. Dumbass, what's so funny about that? <laughs> I was gonna say, the funny thing is that, ironically... Um... um the, the developers... Um, yeah, um, yeah. ironically... Oh, money. No, no, the, um, the uh, develop... Uh, no, no. Did you stop stuttering? Hey, I can't. Hey, I can't help it, Lord. Why? <laughs> why can't you help this? Okay, so the develop. Why the can't you help this? The developers said that they actually found the steam more annoying than Liquid's gunfire here. <laughs> what is more annoying? They found the steam coming out of the walls more annoying. The steam. Yeah. I thought there's some ra random lighting. Nah, it's steam. I thought it's some random lighting. Oh. <clears throat> and why do you keep getting clustered? Because mm, you're very fun, love. Okay. Why don't you try the door that leads from the walkway to Tower A? How can uh, I tell which okay. one is Tower A? I thought it's Tower B, and what do, am I supposed to do? <laughs> you can't really tell. The hind is still around. You will need a surface-to-air missile to take him on. Uh, like a stinger or, or something. Great! 
Great job. You made it down. It wasn't easy. Snake, the doorway that leads from the walkway to Tower A is frozen shut. If you use some C4, you should be able to get through. Oh, I forgot you can do that. Pretty sure if you do this. Yeah. You can actually go back through this door. Although, there's not really any reason to. But, if you ever wanted to go back down there those stairs again, you can. Hey. Anyways, hold up, Cinnabon. I am holding up. Okay. Just gonna... What? Hold on, I need some diazepam. <sighs> yeah? So? Oh, okay, they're, they're just gone. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. No, they're not. They're back. Why do they run away <laughs> and then they come <laughs> back? Ah, oh, shit. That's why. Oh shit. Nice, nice aiming, Thomas. Oh, well, I got this. No, you're not. Oh, he's not in range. Why, why are you... Why are you aiming at the freaking pole? I wanna try and see if I can snipe him without getting hit. Another rash in here. Ooh, that was a close one. <laughs> Why was that a close one? I got the stinger launcher. He's out. He's outside. <laughs> All right. Hey, no. Let's get the stinger ready. So I believe this is, um, Tower B? It looks like Liquid really wants to have a showdown with you. I'm looking at Mei Ling's digitally enhanced satellite images right now. Snake, he's waiting for you. He's just circling around like a buzzard. I hope everyone's enjoying the live broadcast. Sorry, Snake. I wish I could do something to help. <laughs> Snake, <laughs> like it. Please don't go up to the roof. I have to. I can't run from this one. Huh. That's weird. Why is Master not responding to my calls? Wait, who is Master? Oh, you have a the guy who, want, who helped train some units? Only a chance. Which one? Well, the blonde guy? Exactly yeah. Armed. That hind is a monster. You have only a small chance to win, but at least it's better than no chance. That's a pretty grim analysis, Nastasha. To shoot down that hind, you will have to get to a place with good visibility. Do not try to fight him in that walkway. Get up on that roof where you will have a clean shot at him. Yeah, I just like that everybody gives, like, you know, nice little advice. And I think the best part, hon, is that it's, like, completely optional, too. So if you really want, if you really, like, you don't have to talk to them. I'm just talking to them because I like hearing what they have to say. Yeah, so. Is that his only reaction? <laughs> Damn. Focus <laughs> staircase. Damn. <laughs> what kind of reaction is that? I don't get it. Yeah, imagine you just see a broken staircase in real life and you just go, Damn. <laughs> I like his responses a lot. <laughs> Especially what? like uh, the name doesn't matter in the battle. <laughs> yes, honey. Like stop being so emo. Jeez, you can't answer a simple question. 
What kind of reaction is, huh? Oh. Huh? Excuse me? What was that? <laughs> what? Huh? Huh? Some weird, so suspicious it's me, music. Shoot. It's me, Snake. Otacon, how'd huh? you get here? Well, it wasn't as dramatic as your entrance, believe me. I'm afraid of heights. You were watching? Yeah, I was watching. I was riding in the back of their truck. Thanks to the stealth camouflage. How did you get up here? The elevator, of course. The first floor of the circular staircase was destroyed. That's why I took the elevator. Yeah, the elevator was um, working? That's what he yeah, said. that's right. <laughs> You're incredible. Like a movie hero or something. No. You're wrong. In the movies, the hero always saves the oh, girl. Oh no. No, I mean, not this sad music. I... Oh boy. Sorry. Forget I said anything. Snake, there's something I've really got to ask you. It's why I followed you up this far. Have you ever loved someone? That's what you came to no. ask. No, I mean, I, I was wondering if even soldiers fall in love. What are you trying to say? I want to ask you. Do you think love can bloom? Even on a battlefield? Yeah, oh. I do. I think at any time, <laughs> any place, people can fall in Sorry. love with each other. But if you love someone, you have to be able to protect them. I think so too. I have a favor to ask. Uh-oh. Don't worry, it'll be easy. Um, I told you before I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want you to either. Okay. The elevator is stopped down there. I want you to get it to move. You see? That's weird. It was working before, but now it isn't. Maybe the panel's broken. Can you fix it? It was working before. If it's the mechanism, leave it to me. I've got to go and swat a noisy fly. Okay. I'll stay here and hold the fort. Good luck. You really look like hell. Are you okay? Don't worry. If I do this, it doesn't matter. I just pretend like I'm not here, and then I'm not scared. Strange logic. I'm counting on you. That's a long pause. <laughs> Yeah, it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty memorable cutscene, I say so, hon. Why? I laugh. <laughs> well, it's okay if you laughed, too. <laughs> what? Right, you find it emotional? Really? Well, in a way, yeah. Why? You know, it's very important, you know? Everybody can fall in love. I don't. Well, I love you, honey. I don't. Mama. No. There, go there goes those cameras again, freaking out. I know. Have you ever loved someone? <laughs> have you? Have you ever? I I have. I love Bun Bun. The best. No, have graffiti. you ever loved someone? <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. I said no. <laughs> Why did honey say no? Because I haven't. Oh. I think I know what honey's trying to say. Why? Because technically, honey's never loved. She loves. Because she loves veggies. No. Oh, what do you mean, Bun Bun? No. What's wrong? Nothing. Okay, pat pat. I just don't like you saying stuff for me. Okay, then what does Honey want to say? I said no, I haven't loved someone. So you don't love Veggie? Wow, no. Hun, how could you? I love Baby B, but I always have loved her. So why is it in past tense? I love Baby B too.
So, when you ask, have I loved someone? Well, no, because I've always loved baby, you know? Hey. Oh. I have that volcano effect. Volcano effect's back. I'm you. I'm your shadow. What? Ask the father that you kill. I'll send you to hell to meet him. What's the error noise? I heard that error noise. Error. Yeah. That's a very low move damage. Ah! Oh damage. yeah, this this boss takes a bit. Okay. Then you can talk about this. <laughs> uh, speedrunners hate this boss. <laughs> you can take talk about the topic again. Oh yeah, the top of love, Phoebe. Yeah. Well, that's another reason why I wanted to show you this game is because it has a, you know, one of the focuses of it is love to begin with. How so? Well, it's very, it's very love focused, because you no, know, it's like. it's not. It's not. Well, with Snake, you know, having feelings for Meryl, Otacon, uh, kind of not being unsure if he should love Sniper Wolf or not. No. I mainly remember the dark part and the emo part, so I don't think it's worth <laughs> it. So I have to disagree here. Don't let me aim at him. Just because there is a love element doesn't mean a romantic love thing, you know? So what are you trying to say? I just really enjoy the love undertones. I mean, mm. the f I mean, the fact that there's love in the game at all, I just really enjoy. There's not much. Calm down. Okay, Katie, hon. It's not cute. I so I I'm still confused on what you mean, but okay. Hmm. I guess I don't know how to get my point across then. Yep, you sure don't. Yeah, sorry love. You suck. Mama. I can't tell you love this game because of its action and dark story more than the love part. I love everything about this game. Yeah, I say so. Yeah, Katie Hun. Then you should have said it instead of <laughs> confusing everyone. Ah, uh, sorry, pumpkin. Okay. Well, you wanna ask me something? Mm, what do you well? What do you like about this game so far, hun? The emo parts. Mm, yeah. <laughs> and the elements. Well, I like the whole sneaking around and the whole uh, story. I like it. Oh, honey, like sneaking around. Yes, I do. Very good, love. Okay. he under the floor? Oh, he, he like goes under the building and then he swoops up to sneak up on you. What do you mean under the building? How is he under the floor? Um, how do I explain it? Like he goes oh. far below the building so you can't see him. No, he's under the floor. <laughs> he's under the floor, hun. Yes, he is. <laughs> 
Why are you laughing? I'm saying it's under the floor. Where else? <laughs> Where did he go off? So He's on the floor, I can He's under the floor. <laughs> oh yeah, the last. Good job. <laughs> I think <laughs> he kills him. Alright, so when... You're gonna wanna be careful. You wanna try and stay in the corner. Cause he's gonna shoot off a giant attack, look. What? Yeah. Yeah, that kills you if you're anywhere near it, so... Yeah. <laughs> That's what we need. Die, bitch. See you in hell, liquid. That takes what? care of the cremation. What? <laughs> I have lots of questions. Why was the explosion so damn big and intense for The elevator's that? working. You fixed it? I'm not sure why it's so big. And then, the weird thing. And then it just moved by and itself. And then it disappeared. What? <laughs> is that so? Like okay. where is the freaking smoke what was it? after it? Oh, just I no smoke, I guess. Gone. Gone. Helicopter? What? That's incredible, Snake. Listen, I just want to make sure again. This is the way to get to where Metal Gear is being stored? Yeah. The entrance to the underground maintenance base is towards the back of the snowfield ahead. Okay. And he used the rope again? <laughs> I'm going underground. Yeah, he used the rope know, again. No, you don't have to tell me. Yeah, but why not? Way. Don't try to be a hero or anything. What's wrong okay. with the rope? I, I think, like, the implication is that the rope breaks after he uses it to get down. Or whatever, because it's I not mean, it's not in my inventory anymore. Okay, that makes sense. Because how would you untie the rope from the top of the building? Yeah, exactly. It's probably just stuck up there now. <laughs> okay. And then and then he just he let go of the rope and like it. Are know, the like soldiers it. again under the ladder? No, don't worry, hun. Although we will have to use a couple chaff grenades. I mean, no, don't worry, I want the, the freaking... You want the epic staircase climb with all the soldiers? Yeah, because they were literally under you and they somehow left and I don't know where they left. They just left. Alright, watch out for the freaking out cameras. Why are they dancing like that? <laughs> I'm flying, I don't get it. What was that? Why did it explode? Look, they're flying again. Yeah, they're flying, love. Wow, so funny. Boohoo. Oh, boohoo, hun. No more. No. Why are you saying boohoo to me? I said it first. Okay. Stop copying. Oh, but I love being a little mini bun bun. No, you're not a good version of me. Or would I be a mega bun bun? No. You'd be a fat bun bun because you're fat. I don't know fat. why, Ball. but the elevator just started working again. We if suck. you take it all the way to the bottom of Tower B and go outside, don't even you'll call be in my the name field. like that. The entrance Mama. to the underground maintenance base Mama, is in the north what? of the snowfield. Just wanna make sure you're comfy. I am comfy. Okay, I have good. my first bed. Oh mm. my god! You Mama. actually shot down that hind. You're the one who said I could do it with a stinger. You didn't really think I had a chance, did you? It's not that. Well, after all, that hind shot down two F-16s. It is hard to believe that after doing that, it got taken out by just one man. Nice going, Snake. What are you saying? You're not comfy? I'm comfy, too. 
You did it, Snake. You shot down the hind. We were well, so glad. Worried. Liquid couldn't have survived that. I wonder. But even so, just because we've taken out their leader doesn't mean they're gonna give up. They're still gonna try to launch that nuke. You're right. There's no time to waste. Also, how do they the know it's the leader? The communications tower. The how do they know the leader? leader? Yeah. Well, because, um, they did a mission briefing before we started. Like, Liquid Snake is their boss. It's just we hadn't seen him in person until, like, the torture segment. Oh, that was him. Uh, what the hell was that? Huh? <laughs> oh, come on, not again. <laughs> yes, the, the top tier reactions, honey. Damn, huh? Damn, huh? huh? Snake, huh? there's something I forgot to tell you before. What? There were five stealth camouflage prototypes in my lab. Yeah, so? If you take out the one I'm wearing, that leaves four. Hey, this isn't first grade math class. I thought I'd get one for you. So I went back to the lab and... Yeah? The four suits were missing. Also... About the elevator that I checked out, it's really strange. It was like someone was intentionally holding it. When you were riding on it, did the weight limit warning go off? That's another thing that bothered me about it. The warning went off, and I know I couldn't be over the limit. How much do you weigh? About 135. But that elevator had a weight limit of 650 pounds. Oh, I thought 135 to look. <laughs> <laughs> Close up. Goofy, goofy, yeah, close up. That's very visible. Well, it's visible when they're moving, not really when they're standing still. What do you mean? I literally see the guy on the left very clearly. Yeah, it's a little more visible then, huh? It is what's visible, huh? Yeah, the follow this makes that easy. pretty easy. <laughs> that was easy. For real, hun. Then why are you saying, oh, oh, blah, 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 yeah. Blah. Yeah. Hey, veggie, hey, veggie loves yapping. Anyways, um... And I hate your yap because it gets too annoying. Oh, sorry, Kitty. Anyways, here's the broken stairs. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> he couldn't jump. It's not that big. Now the stairs were also broken higher up too, like the entire oh. staircase was broken. Oh, okay. I thought it's only that part. What are you doing? Going to the door. No, you weren't. You were rolling around. Uh. Ha ha. Let's not do that again. <laughs> do it. Do it again. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, Kitty Hunt's so do happy to see me do it again. Do it again. Oh, what a do good little again. pumpkin. Do it again. Oh, so good. What are you on about? I oh, want Veggie to do it again. Very good. You. I am very good. You said don't do it again. I'm um, inspiring you to do <laughs> bad things. <laughs> Why are you giggle over that? What's wrong with you? Oh, honey, it's very fun. How? Because, like, he wants me to do things again. Yeah, stuff that you shouldn't do. Snuggle. Hey. What the hell is that goofy at back there? Looks ugly. Ugly background? Ugly backyard. Oh, backyard. <laughs> I don't know where are we even. This sucks. Ah, oh, this is the snowfield. 
No, it's the backyard. Yeah, we'll call it the backyard. And why is there a hanging body over there? Colonel, listen to me. I found a parachute near the wreckage of the house. No, it's a hanging body. Parachute. What do you mean parachute? You don't think that liquid survived? Impossible. As soon as he jumped out of the pilot's seat, he'd be sliced up faster than an onion on an infomercial. Onion? So what's that parachute doing there then? No, no information. Idea. A trap. Either that or a message to me. Meaning I'm not dead, I suppose. Maybe. But I think it's more like I'll string you up. Well, in any case, don't let your guard down. I won't. Have uh, some medicine, real quick. Wait, what's wrong? My head hurts. Um, why? I have a headache. I'm not sure uh, why. Uh, um, what? Because you got upset, you, you cried, or you what? You got mm. mad too much? Mm hmm. What's wrong? Hmm. So what's wrong? Hmm? I think I got a little too frustrated earlier. Karma. It is hmm. Sorry, hon. Snugglies. Get away from me. What's wrong, pumpkin? Nothing. Okay. Hmm? Oh, what's up? What is that? Snake! Sniper. Are you okay? Otacon, were there any other stealth prototypes? No, there were only five. So, this isn't stealth camouflage then. What are you talking about? Someone's aiming at me in the middle of this blizzard. It's her! Wolf? Sniper Wolf? Yes, it's her. It's definitely her. Otacon, you sound like you're happy. No, I'm not. So then what is it? Snake, please don't kill her. Are you insane? Please, she's a good person. You'd know that if you talked to her. Listen to me, kid. She's a merciless killer. I can see you perfectly from here. <laughs> I told you, I'd never quit the hunt. Now you're mine. Wolf, no, you can't. Don't get between a wolf and its prey. You're pretty good if you can hit me in this storm. You see, women naturally make better soldiers. Wolf, don't do this. You, women naturally superior. I'm near. <laughs> no offense to men. Can't you sense me near you? It's a mistake for us. Men are also good. I love men. I love Is that all right? Men. Well, I'm going oh, very to good, send hun. you a love letter, my dear. Yeah, I'm. I love him. Do you know what that is? It's a bullet. Straight from my gun to your heart. Please, Wolf. Snake, oh wow! No, so quiet. heartwarming. Don't get in the way. <laughs> now I'm gonna pay it's you my back weapon. Meryl. Straight you to your heart. That sounds so like me. Weak. Oh, honey is my favorite. Yeah, she is so me. She <laughs> says you men are so weak. Yeah, that's my line. Thank you very much for saying that. Yep, definitely a honey line. I know. All right, let's get the. uh Get that, uh, medicine ready. You already ate it. Oh, well, snake's medicine, then. <laughs> no, I said he already ate it, like me. Also, where is she? I gotta figure out where she is. Once, once you figure out where she is, it's not too bad. Really? Yeah. Honestly, the hardest part is figuring out where she is. <laughs> I didn't know she had, like, this kind of blonde hair. Um, she actually has more of, like, a greenish kind of hair. Green? Yeah, it's kind of hard. You, what was that, miss? That was in my one. Mm -mm. Oh, I'm you missed a wobbly badly. again. <laughs> I like 
like how she's like, eh. Eh. Come on, go. <laughs> Is it gonna go again? Oh, nope. Why is she standing in the freaking... <laughs> She's just standing she... out in the open. Is she dumb? <laughs> what kind of pro sniper just... Uh, there's a best stop between the two threes now. I'm a, I'm a ghost, you know. Um, with no trees beside me. Why not? I die as a now. For out in the open, why <laughs> not? Just, just, just go out in the open and shoot the sniper. Yeah, that's- oh my god, he's like that guy I played with today. Oh, again. She's- she's like that guy I played with today, remember? <laughs> the pro sniper that teabagged? Or is that a different guy? Yeah, him. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> no, he just quit back. He just- the- the guy who tried to be nice to him, and he tried to kill him. <laughs> That was funny. Mm, very funny. Ow. That was easy. That was a violent scream. I mean, she got shot like 10 times, honey. <laughs> then why? So what? I mean, anybody would make that kind of noise when they get shot like 10 times. Probably. No. 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 Waited for want? this moment. I am a sniper. Waiting is my job. Never moving a muscle. Concentrating. <laughs> I am long shot. You, you cannot save me. Please. Just finish me quick. I am a guard. I have always dreamed of a peaceful place like this. A guard? So that's why you're called Wolf. Wait, I don't get this. on a battlefield. Raised on the battlefield. Gunfire. Another evil line. Screams. Mm hmm. They were my lullabies. Hunted like dogs, day after day. Driven from our ragged shelters. That was my life. Each morning I'd wake up and find a few more of my family or friends dead beside me. I'd stare at the morning sun and pray to make it through the day. The governments of the world turned a blind eye to our misery. But then, he appeared. My hero. Saladin. He took me away from all that. Saladin? You mean Big Boss? I became a sniper, hidden, watching everything through a rifle scope. Now I could see war, not from inside, but from the outside, as an observer. I watched the brutality, the stupidity of mankind through the scope of my rifle. I joined this group of revolutionaries to take my revenge on the world. But I have shamed myself and my people. I am no longer the wolf I was born to be. In the name of vengeance, I sold my body and my soul. are noble animals 
and not like dogs. In Yupik, the word for wolf is Keglinek, and the Aleuts revere them as honorable cousins. They call mercenaries like us dogs of war. It's true. We're all for sale at some price or another. But you're different. Untamed. Solitary. You're no dog. You're a wolf. Who are you? Are you Saladin? Wolf. You spared Meryl's life. She... She was never my real target. I don't kill for sport. Rest easy. You'll die as the proud wolf you are. I finally understand. I wasn't waiting to kill people. I was waiting for someone to kill me. A man like you. You're a hero. Please. Set me free. Why? Why? I loved you. What is it? My gun. Give it to me. She's part of me. Everyone's here now. Oh, okay, hero. Set me free. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I can't do this thing. Snake, you said that love could bloom on the battlefield. But I couldn't save her. What are you doing? Returning it to its owner. I don't need a handkerchief. Why? I don't have any more tears to shed. <gasps> I'm going to the underground base. We're out of time. I know. You'll have to protect yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Yeah. If I can't stop Metal Gear, this whole place will probably be bombed to hell. Yeah. We might not meet again. I'll hang on to my codec. I want to keep helping. You can leave any time. Get a head start. A head start on your new life. Snake! What was she fighting for? What am I fighting for? What are you fighting for? If we make it through this, I'll tell you. Good answer. Okay. I'll be searching too. Yeah, that's probably like the saddest scene in the whole game. Really? That was sad? I I should know. Yeah, I'm sorry. I've dealt with more emotional scenes. A lot of reasons why people say uh you know Wolf is like probably the most memorable character in this game. Really? Because, because of how tragic her death scene is. Why? I feel like she has a good death. 
Oh, she did, she did that too. But who the hell plays this game? Little kids who have never played a, a proper game before or something? Or read a sad book or something? Like, they should read my book or something. So they can actually compare a sad death. Like, I don't know. A mother worrying about his son all the time as he suddenly died for a deadly virus now. That's a very sad death. That's because she didn't sad, deserve huh? it. Yeah, but that actually has a meaning. Mm, I see you, Dion. So, no, I didn't find this sad, but I, I, I'm i happy she died this way, actually. It's not sad to me at all, but uh, okay. Yeah, she could have had a worse death, that's for sure. So what do you mean, Dad? What's so sad about it? Mm. First things could have happened. Not really sure what else to say from besides that. I'm weird. I'm confused. What are you on about? Mm. Never mind, I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> then just say it, Domas. You said that it's so memorable, then say why this is so memorable. Well, most of the bosses in this game, um, like, you don't really feel as sad for them the same way you feel sad for Wolf, because Wolf had, like, a connection to Otacon, who's, you know, one of the main characters. But, but it didn't seem like she loved him back, though. No, no, she didn't, but... Then why, then how is that connected? It's only that I like Otacon as a character, but I don't feel sad at all. <laughs> because why should I feel sad for someone who doesn't love them back? That's weird. Yeah, it, it is a kind of one-sided relationship. Then why, so why is it so sad? Oh, hold on, hon. What? Insert disc two. Wait, that's it? I gotta insert disc two. Why? Why? Not a valid um, disc image. What? What have you done? Hmm. What have you done? It's not working. What have you done? That's weird. Why is it not letting me change the disc? <laughs> uh oh. Okay, I think I think I got it. Maybe. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright, I got it. I got it to work. <laughs> So what did you have to do? Uh, I'll explain in a second. I'm just gonna Why put my key. I'm gonna put my keyboard Why and mouse in away. A second. Why in a second? Why in a second? And why do you have to put your keyboard and mic away? Well, Katie, hon, it's more comfortable if I put my mouse and keyboard away. Why? Um, just because there's less on my bed and it's more room for me to, you know, stretch my leg. I'm confused. Oh wait, why is my controller not working now? Oh my goodness. Wait. It's gonna take ages. Hold on. Oh my goodness, I'll hold on. <laughs> that, that, that should fix it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> finally. <laughs> finally, I finally got it to work. <laughs> uh, that's, the, that's the only downside with um with di multiple disc games. It can be a little bit of a hassle to change them, but yeah. Wow. Oh, I got I got a work. Uh, because you're such an amateur boy, like. I'm such a what, love? Amateur. Hey, he's not mature. Come on. Amateur. Amateur? Oh. Yeah. I'm not sure. Be wifey. And we know you're not much. You don't have to say that. 
You, you did Oops. yourself very deep. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Stop squeaking and tell me what's wrong. I let go of the stick by accident. Yes, yeah, so? Yeah, oops. So what? Shouldn't have done that. I'm confused. Oh, uh, this, this, this little section right here is a bit weird. I can't see, you know? What? You never haven't <laughs> shown me this whole time. And you're like, oh, I'm like... Oops, honey. Wait, by the way, by the way, Kitty, do you want to know what I did to um get the disc to work? This, this section is pretty weird. doesn't show what section. <laughs> but this section is pretty weird, you know? No, I don't know. I can't Okay, Kitty. So this part where you have no. to, like, cling to the wall? What part? I can't see. Oh, wait. Is it not screen sharing? No. Oh, oops. Hold on. <laughs> why does it look different? What do you mean, why does it look different? It looks different. It does? Yeah. Whatever. What? What did you do? Right. Um... <laughs> That happened. <laughs> Ow, my eyes! <laughs> your, yeah, yeah, honey, your eyes. Your beautiful eyes. Why did, why did you do that to me? I'm not. F why did you do that to me? I wasn't trying to do that. Yes, you did. Because okay. you literally showed me that happened. Okay, hello. So. <laughs> and why is it running like 20, 20 FPS on the second? I'm not okay, sure. Okay, it fixed itself. Okay. Maybe. Maybe it fixes them, maybe. <laughs> I'd hope so. so this is terrible. So there's what? this weird part where you have to, um... Crouch? Oh my goodness. <laughs> and you have what to make- you have to, you have to make sure you... Hold left the whole time. If you let go of left at any point... Um... Mm. You, uh, you die. You can't. You you don't want it. You don't want to die on. The frame rate is killing me. The frame rate. You want me to fix the frame rate? Maybe. Because okay, when oh. you're walking, it's like. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Reggie, the feet are moving. This is gonna be the entire episode. Me trying to figure out why things are not working properly. The legs aren't moving. <laughs> the legs aren't moving. Okay, hold on. Your I don't legs know, are I, moving. I don't know why. I don't know why it keeps messing up. <laughs> uh, fine, because maybe I will. Because you suck at this. Maybe I will keep my keyboard and mouse on my bed. Because mm. it, it, there's been too many fuck ups. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Is it okay now? <laughs> it's better. It's better? I don't know why it's worse all of a sudden. It's kind of weird. Okay, okay. Um. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, what? Nothing. Uh... What do you mean, nothing, BB? It's just slightly delayed. I'll, I'll leave. Okay. I mean, 60 FPS is better than 30 at least. True. Yeah. But it, it wasn't like that with the first disc. Hmm. Maybe after I can screen share it again. Damn. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm gonna try and screen share it again then. Oh my goodness. Maybe that'll fix it? Question mark. No, it won't. <laughs> hey, Colonel. Is it? How do I fight okay, these guys? For now, for now, Snake, it's working. Blow away all the bad guys, or you're not gonna be yeah, able to get out of there and get to the underground base. Okay. Blow away all the bad guys. Thanks, Colonel. <laughs> That's what I would say. Hey, Master, what do you have to say about this? Naturally, in an enclosed room, your motion is limited. But that doesn't mean that you should stand still and become a human target. 
You can win if you watch how your enemy moves and then cleverly counter it. Thanks, Master. Alright, let's get the Palmas out again. I like those things. Is it Very good for encounters like this, where they're all spread out. They're a bit more spread out, though, so I'm getting hit a bit more often. <laughs> I was saying be careful, but like, oh, I will be. Nothing. Ow. Careful. Oh, careful. Uh, took a little bit too much damage there. Don't I say. We'll, I think we'll get another ration, though. We'll be fine. Alright, good. It's still, still recording. I still got hit anyway. Good job, Thomas. Shit. Thomas. Shit. Thomas. I forgot there's uh claymores here. Cause uh those claymores aren't there in the remake. That's why I got confused. <laughs> What remake? Uh, the GameCube remake of this game. Oh. They removed the claymores, probably because you can't even see them with the mind detector. Oh. I really don't know why they're there. To make things harder. <laughs> they're there to be rude. <laughs> no, to make things harder. That too, I agree. Let's ask Master about it. There are a lot of crows around here. Those aren't crows. Pigeon. Those are northern ravens. The Inuit and other Native Americans worship Pigeons. northern ravens. As Pigeons. <laughs> Pigeons. Some say that ravens have the power to predict death. The great poet Marlowe wrote about them in the 16th century. Thus, like the sad presaging raven that tolls the sick man's passport in her hollow beak, and in the shadow of the silent night doth shake contagion from her sick. How does he know or forward it in the course? <laughs> I don't know. What? I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? Is this conversation secure? Don't worry, the monitor's off. Okay. What's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the Mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? It was all a big lie. What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied? She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on, even a high school student could see past it. The head of the FBI at that time, Edgar Hoover, he was a well-known racist. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. Well, back then, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 1950s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960. In Chicago, not New York. But you better check it out. <laughs> what? The chief and the president mysteriously dying, and that ninja, 
Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. That's, that's a very important call. Hey, Colonel, do you know anything about that? Colonel, where's Naomi? I'm right here, Snake. What is it? Oh, uh, nothing. Forget it. Strange. Snake, by now those terrorists have finished their launch preparations. Stop wasting time. <laughs> Where's Naomi? Oh, I'm here. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. I see. Let's talk to Mei Ling, too. Mei Ling, how's Naomi? Hmm? She's fine, I guess. What's up? Oh. Uh, what do you want, Snake? If you want to talk to Naomi, why don't you call her? Oh, it's nothing. Forget about it. Strange guy. Now checking memory card. Good luck, Snake. Uh, let's see how Nastasha's doing. As long as the strategy of nuclear deterrence continues, nuclear weapons may be reduced, but they will never be eliminated. If you think about it, nuclear reduction does not mean much without elimination as the ultimate goal. I used to work in the DIA. I figured the only way to achieve nuclear elimination was to work from the inside to convince them of the ineffectiveness of the deterrence theory. Seems like you're pretty focused on that issue. Victims of nuclear radiation are a sad thing to see. Ew. I have seen a lot of it. I have seen more than enough of it. I was born Only question and raised in Pripyat, Ukraine. I was 10 years old on that day. Oh, well, there, there it is. You reveal where she's from. Chernobyl. You know where Chernobyl is? Yes, Chernobyl. <laughs> I know it. changed my life and thousands of other lives. I live just three kilometers north of there. Six hundred to seven hundred thousand people were evacuated. Over six hundred and fifty thousand children suffered the effects of radiation poisoning. Between nineteen eighty six and nineteen ninety three, twelve thousand children died. My parents and many others like them who helped in the cleanup died a few years later from radiation sickness. We must rid this world of all nuclear weapons before they cause more misery, before they destroy the delicate environment that keeps us alive. I will not allow this pain and anxiety to pass on to yet another generation. Yeah, I find this more emotional than the freaking death scene. Wow, that was that was pretty life. that was pretty messed up. I've actually never seen that codec before. What do you mean pretty messed up? It's based you on real life, Thomas. Yeah, I know. Oh, do you know though? Mm -hmm. Then what? What power plant did it explode? Huh? Sounds very real. Oh. Which one exploded? But for some reason, they started to really increase in number around the same Hello? time the Foxhound came Hello? to the base. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I wonder what it could Fourth mean. Pardon, hun? The fourth one. The fourth one? Yeah. Sorry, I was just listening to Otacon talk. <laughs> okay, Dama, whatever. What would you call this filter, hun? Uh, uh freeze, freezing. Oh, good. Freezing <laughs> filter. Well, you're, you're right about that, Lo. Freezing filter. Freezing filter. Very smart, Bon Bon. I know. <laughs> and it hurts my eyes as well. Oh, no. Totally. I guess I should cover your eyes then. Yeah, yeah, cover my eyes, whatever. Okay, mama. I gonna do that. Mm, um, wrap these. 
you'll be safe all right. from all of the blinding uh, textures. Ow, my eyes! I'm not safe from that. Okay, um... Yeah. Well... My eyes hurt. Well, oh, sorry, you beauty. This is the end of the road for you. You did not protect me right, from it. Right, my What? Listen, Plays with your hair. Hmm. Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? You must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> but that was no true battle. The Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The ravens say you are a true warrior. Am I hallucinating? I can't move. The raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. I don't have any crows in my family tree. <laughs> you jest. But indeed, ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy adversary. You live in Alaska, too. You know of the World Eskimo Indian Olympics? Yeah, I know it. You must be a real threat in the muck duck eating contest. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pull. It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious, it's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll see if there's iron in your words. Uh, he's got a giant ass mini gun <laughs> that like reaches across the whole room. <laughs> um. I wonder how you're supposed to be him. Hmm. Uh, what I like to try and do is put down a bunch of um, claymores. It's hard to see. Really. Well, another thing you can do is shoot a Nikita at him. Oh. Kind of hard to tell. Hard to tell where he is, though. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're not talking about visuals. Out. Out. What? Ideally, I'd want him to try and run into all my claymores. <laughs> I see. Like that, and then I get hit myself. <laughs> Good job, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. I actually saw that. Honey saw that. I saw that, but I didn't see previous mostly. Oh. Like, I seized the bomb oh, sometimes. Oh, he, he died. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I see now. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the main purpose of claymores, honestly. My existence, which is no longer needed in this world. But my body will not remain in this place. My spirit. Wait. My so he has no costume. I thought he was in a costume all along. No, he shirtless. <laughs> in a freezing place. What? Yep. <laughs> How is he not cold? I have no idea, hun. <laughs> Where is the hypothermia? Uh, he's probably got really good nano machines. I will say me other thing in this game. Okay. Card. You will open that door. Why? Probably like what? You are a snake Why? 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 First, I'll give you a hint. The man you saw die before your eyes. Uh, ice train warning, <laughs> I guess. Uh, ow! What is it? I don't know. It probably sun does. sunburn filter. That was not the Darker Chief. It was Decoy Octopus. A member of Foxhound. Who is Decoy Octopus? Uh, he's one of the bad guys. He copied his subjects down to the blood. But he died. So he drained oh. the chief's blood and took it into himself. But he wasn't able to deceive the Angel of Death. The Angel of Death? They they explained it way too late. But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the chief? <laughs> that is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. Are you surfing here? In the natural world, there's no such thing as boundless slaughter. There's always an end to it. But you are different. What are you trying to say? Are they the eating him? Yeah, they are. No end. Why? Because he's dead. Take is paved with the corpses of your oh, do not eat people. Their souls will haunt you forever. You shall have no peace. Hear me, snake. My spirit will be watching. I'm so confused. Hey, what? What was that? What was that? He died. Snake. But it's what me, was left of master. him? Nothing. It's about Naomi. <laughs> He's gone. Turn your monitor off. Why? What about Naomi? I'm not sure. Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Hmm. I like honey. So why is this about Naomi? Naomi? No, you're okay. taking too many Maybe maps. we better let the colonel hear this oh, too. Hockey. Yeah. Go on, master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then who is she really? She must be some kind of... spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either. But she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. Different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest. What? She's betrayed us. 
She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the arms tech president? I... I have no idea. Anyway, Why is he so stupid? Her to <laughs> any further in this I mission. hate this guy. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding Who's something. stupid? Give me some time. Him. I'll try to get the girl? Hurry then. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta figure out who she is and what she's... He kind of is, yeah. I... I, I don't know. I don't Stay. know. Give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. <laughs> That's me. That's me too. He'll be me too. I should say that more often. I don't have time for you. I should say that to you more often. Thank you, sleep for your info. <laughs> Savage man. I'm gonna. I don't need to say it like that because I said this several times, but you never listen. I don't have time left for you. Yeah, I don't have any time left for you. Go away, Veggie. No, I don't I, need you. No, I don't want to go away. I'm no. Free. No, boy. I don't have time for you. Aww. Well, then you're gonna be sad. Be sad then. Not my problem. Okay. Me okay. You don't sound sad at all. Wow, oh, yeah, honey. What? They just play me. So what? Ugly. Okay. Here, here it is. You don't sound sad. Pat pat. What do you mean pat pat? What's up with you now? Mm, you want some cuddles? No, I don't. You want some? Yes, please. Hello. Hey, hon, hon. What? Hey, he's happy now. Why do- why am I calling you in a hunt calling my you win? Say what? Why am I calling you if you're not calling back? Snake, oh, please. it's me! What's yeah. wrong? Did you find a good place to hide? Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like they've finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards. Nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but there are ways. Are you a hacker? Yep, that describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. Hey, Judy, hon? Yeah? How much longer do you think we should go for? What is this important? Like, Snake, I am lost? It's me again. Because we're getting kind of close to the end of the game. Uh, not bad. I just got close. Past third security like, I could probably beat the game in another hour or so. I think you'll break in soon. I never you wanna save it, then? You wanna okay. save it for next time? Keep trying. Maybe because it's lucky, like, yes, asshole. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, I guess a, a laggy finale would be very enjoyable. <laughs> not sure why it's not sure why it's doing that anyway. I don't know. It's working just fine earlier. It was fine earlier. That's why I'm surprised. Disc two ruined everything. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Hopefully, I mean, it sometimes fixes by next time. Like, sometimes it catches up like now, but sometimes it's really fast. Hmm. Okay. We'll go a little bit longer. 
because I do know the finale can take a bit sometimes. Okay, fine. Snake, I did it. You got past security? Bingo. Great. So what do you got? I accessed the confidential Metal Gear file. So what about the PAL override system that Baker talked about? I haven't found it yet. That's what I need to know. But Snake, I found something else. What? The secret behind the new nuclear weapon. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You mean it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is, they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one until now? Because of the missile rocket propulsion system, it would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world! It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? I'm listening. If word of this got out, it could delay the signing of the START 3 treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the president down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You've changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested, only simulated. You mean they ran a computer model? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disk with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. Well, shit. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. Yeah, this is like the final area in the game, so they're gonna drop everything about Metal Gear. <laughs> I'll just say, hon, the uh, ending of the game involves a lot of backtracking. So, I mean, we're gonna have to do a lot of back and forth. I haven't found out about the override system yet. You'll see why next time we play. He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? Well, that's part of it. Arms Tech is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. And it looks like we were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. Bribe money, huh? Yeah, and Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. <laughs> huh? I heard something. It just fades to black. <laughs> okay, I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernerton, Russia? No. 
There's been a change. The new target is Lochnor, China. Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear Which test one is liquid? Nuclear test site. Uh, the guy with the brown trench coat. Center, the game's over. But a Which one? Explosion at a test site um, still be conceived the guy who's talking? Meanwhile, Washington oh, okay. will be worried about the they retaliatory the, strike from China. That'll probably mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the president will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation or the president's? Nice the camera. <laughs> I mean, China and India. I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes, the president will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars. That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Fox Dye. It killed Octopus and the Arms Tech president. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. Or maybe it's just because this fox dye was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bugs yet. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? He uh -oh. still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Uh-oh. He's a very uh -oh. prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear so weapon. So two people were spies. There's a lot Russia of spies. <laughs> its position as a military superpower. Two. We need to reinforce a nuclear Two. arsenal. Mm -hmm. Two. A nuclear weapon that can't be in a I mean, lots of people. Metal Gear will allow them to well, in the series, a lot of people are spies. The rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Golukovich, he's no warrior. He's a politician. But he's the one who gave us the hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldiers' brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the men's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We could still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Golukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? And what's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours. What about your promise to Colonel Golukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. From today, call this place Outer Heaven. Big Boss's dream. But Boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden. If the code is in it again, it'll be deactivated. <sighs> no need to worry. The DARPA chief and the Arms Tech president are both dead. Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Meryl. She's alive. Snake, I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? 
Okay, you see the override system that the president was talking about? It can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah. You better get started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made because of the key is only alloy. used once. Shape memory alloy. Yes, it's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key. Yeah, the card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see. Zoom level 100. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left Too complicated, I already key. forgot. See the symbol? Oh, poor honey. Next to that goes the low temperature key. I hate key. memory. The one on the right is oh, the right. high temperature key. Okay, I Medium, got it. low, First, high. First I change the shape You're of the welcome. card and then I input them in order. Yes, right? Wifey. That's right. All I you do forgot. is insert the card uh, key. Medium, <laughs> low, After high. Insert the key into the module, I forgot. A hard medium, low, high. I forgot. <laughs> Um, Once you finished with all three terms, the code high? input process is complete. Yes, I need to only use the key I three forgot. times. It's an medium emergency system, it's only meant high. to be used once. The world is right, right? on that key, Snake. Right? Right? Damn. Damn. Right? Mm -hmm. He fell in the drainage ditch. Snake. Is he stupid? Why this did he is hold it? Proof glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. <laughs> Snake, you've got to get that key. Um, medium low high. Oh. Medium low high. Medium low high. Is it gonna let me be in the box? Uh oh. No, no box. No box, I guess. Uh. Does it let me remember medium low high? Yes, medium low high, wifey. But I forgot this one. There, oh, there's more guys coming. I forgot. Oh, what? You want me to remind you, Bun Bun? Yes. Okay, medium, low, high. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I remember. Yeah, very good, Whitey. Mm -hmm. I think we'll get the PAL key and then we'll um, probably save. I don't know where it is. Mm. The thing is that the location is kind of randomized each playthrough, so I kind of have to look for it and see where it is. Okay, take your time. Okay, love. Wish you luck. The best way to find it is to use the mine detector. Wish you luck. Thank you, hon. The bomb. What? No shit, it says bomb. <laughs> Snake, Reggie, it says bomb, why is no, Christ? It's not here. I know why. Don't be ridiculous. You saw it fall into the drainage ditch, didn't you? The drainage ditch. Isn't there something odd about it? No. There are a lot of big rats though. That's it, Snake. A rat must have eaten it. Now who's being ridiculous? No, I'm right. There's no other possibility. Rats eat all sorts of things. There's nothing unusual about that. Wait, is this true? 
Uh, oops. <laughs> Honey. Hey, there's the rat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are the rat. Because he dies. Because he's a squeaky mouse. Squeaky mouse. Dum dum. Oh, oh squeaky hey, mouse. Wait. Oh, hi, hon. Squeaky mouse exploded. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, Veggie's very funny. Are you though? Mm hmm. According to who? I gotta look for the mouse. According to who? According to Veggie. Well, I found the squeaky mouse. What do you mean, go find the mouse? Mm. You, can you find Veggie? Yeah. Where is this mouse at? I'ma find Veggie. I'll find Veggie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, why is honey eight, count? Oh, why is honey count? Nine, ten. Who found you? Mm. Took me ten seconds. I counted. Oh, good job. You found me, honey. Yes. Any more questions? Um, what are you gonna do now that you found Veggie? Leave. <laughs> You're gonna leave? Why would you do that? Yeah. Because why was I meant to find you? Bomba's bullet. Why was I meant to find you in the first place? Bomb? Uh oh. Hello? Hello. Why was I meant to find you? Um, pick the veggie up. You're too heavy. Where is this mouse at? I don't see You're anymore. too heavy. Why am I heavy How now? Because you're way heavier than me. How am I supposed to pick you up? Uh, you want to pick veggie up? I'm what? I'm trying to search for the mouse. What yeah. should I do? Um, cuddle veggie. Okay, cuddle. Hey. Okay, I'm gonna pick you up. I'll try, uh, honey. Wrap, wrap. See? Hey. Oh, I picked you up. Now, now, are you in my arm? Now, veggie's comfy. Good. Got some rations at least. That's pretty nice. What's my reward for doing that? Oh, I saw the rat. See it. Why is the reward that? Your reward is uh, getting cuddlies. But that sucks. That's my mission to was to find you and pick you up and follow. That's enough. What? What do I get? You get you some did. love from the bank. You did it. Yeah. Good job. I got the pal key. I did it. Yay. And why did you lose life when you went into the water thing? Oh, that that the water is uh toxic. That's why. Why? Mm. Because it's, you know, near Metal Gear, and Metal Gear uses, like, nuclear weapons. <laughs> what about it, nuclear weapons? Would it, would it make sense that the water gets kind of, like, radiated from the nuclear weapons? Not really. If it is no. secured properly. There is a big difference between conventional weapons and weapons of mass destruction. Conventional weapons are intended for use against military targets. But nuclear weapons are used against non-combatants. Nukes are designed to kill tens of thousands of innocent civilians in a flash. That is why nuclear weapons are so evil. Oh, well, he's definitely right about that. You found the card key, right? First comes the room temperature key. Put it into the far left terminal in the control room. That key is actually an IC card. 
Its connector pins and medium low high. Yes, Whitey. It's designed so that unless I it's been changed to the correct shape, oh, it won't be recognized okay. by the PAL code input terminal in the control room, and the detonation code won't be entered. Hey, Master, what do you have to say about this? You got the card key back? Good job. Now hurry to the control room. Don't call them. You got the card key. Good. Now get back to the control room and use that key to re-input the PAL codes. Stop that launch. Why do you call him? Yeah, just for fun. You called Snake? Alright, let's save. Don't forget to save your memories of me too. Can't save memories even on that system of yours. Memories are fragile things. After you reduce them to binary numbers and send them through the air, they're not memories anymore. I wouldn't be so sure of that. There's nothing my system can't do. Memories aren't just sounds and pictures. They exist somewhere between the sounds, between the picture. I don't get it. Anything can be done digitally. If that's true, why don't you go ahead and try to say what I'm thinking right now? I can't say that type of thing. You have to put it into words at least. That's right. And that's what memories are. Wordless. I don't know about that. No matter how far I nearly carry that's worthless on the human heart. You're wrong. It's just a matter of time. But first you have to try to understand human emotions, Mei Ling. And how do I do that? You have to allow yourself to fall in love with someone. Why is he so mean? <laughs> what is he he does like veggie? Oh, and then so mean. Veggie so mean. Oh no, I love you, honey. I don't want to be mean to you. Okay. But I think that's a good place to stop for today. We'll have to finish up this game in a few weeks because honey's gonna be busy, sadly. Very sad. I'll see. Okay, I'll wait. See. But uh, yeah, we're gonna finally finish up this game. See, it's it's nice to play a you know a nice short game for a change. <laughs> no, because Veggie's just slow at certain Oh, Veggie's so slow. Okay. Very. Anyways, everybody, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitch. To Veggie. Yay, to Veggie. Make sure to check out Cinnabon at Kafao on Instagram. And we will be back with the finale of Metal Gear Solid with Wifey Cinnabon. So, yes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.